Alrighty, y'all, welcome back to another episode. It's been a while, but there's something new today. Check this out. I just noticed this, came to the station to fill up. We got a new nozzle. Let's check it out. And we'll compare it to the old ones. If you've seen my old videos, um, you'll know how the old ones look, but we'll take a look. The ones next door are still the older model, but I'm right now gonna put in my Toyota Mirai fuel card that has probably a handful of fools left. It's coming to that time. The card is falling apart. All right, didn't read that one time. Let's check one more time. Will it work? And I'm at the Costa Mesa station, the True Zero Costa Mesa location off of Bristol in Southern California, and it's not working. Put in my fuel part again. Okay. Um, still not working. I'm gonna insert it one more time. Insert fully, okay. Waiting. Okay. So far, not looking good. I don't know if I'll be able to try this new nozzle. It's in again. Do not remove. Remove. Okay. Removing. All right. Beep this time. So maybe it worked. Oh, okay. So far, looking good. It only took four tries, five tries. But uh, yes, we are at the Costa Mesa station off of Bristol. You know the drill processing at our zip code. And then we can start fueling with the new nozzle, hopefully. That right there, it's interesting. This is where the old one was and they put it on the side. So I assume if they were to add it to the other side, they would put it on the that side of the machine. But I guess how would you, I mean, you could figure it out that it's this side because this is more, but I could see that being an issue. All right. So let's try it. New nozzle, full experience, POV. Made by Stab Stalby. Okay, I gotta take the dust cover off. Let's see how this works. Put it on. Okay. I assume it's locked. There's no indicator that I can see. But okay. So all right it seems easier so far so you don't need to there's no like locking mechanism that i could see or the indicator of one i mean there is obviously one but the one i can see i can't see anything uh, versus here's an older version this is the one i've used for a long time everyone has probably that one right there and when you lock it this this portion right here above that black handle goes up and you see a highlighter color right where my pinky is right there um, and that indicates that it is locked here's a diagram all right there that yellow portion shows up when it's locked um, but we don't have that anymore it's this new one um, this is the only one in the four stations so of one two this is the only one that has the newer nozzle let me give you a little close-up so it's the stobly h2 h70 is the patent number um yeah that's i see france on here And there's a QR code as well. There's a lot of information on here. I'll take some pictures after the fact. As you can see. And let's do this price check. Uh, $36 a kilogram, which is the same price it has been over the past couple years. Um, but so far using this nozzle, I can see that it's probably much more friendly 
to people that have a hard time with the old nozzle. Some uh, design improvements that could have been made that I, th I think could have been made is one, it's harder to pull out straight like this um, for especially for what I've observed to older people, um, elderly and um, smaller framed individuals. And now you could also you could pull it straight the old way it looks like, but it looks like they're suggesting you pull out from this way, which is I think easier, but it, I do see the potential issue of um, kind of angling it a certain way that you have an easier time or easier method to potentially bend things but it looks overall easier to grab here it looks like you can do it here as well so you could use two hands if you needed to which is a big improvement in my opinion um it was never a big issue for me but i I've, I've helped a handful of people that had um difficulty pulling out the old nozzle because they're most of the time elderly or um the smaller frame so anyway this is at the costa mesa station right now and uh, we are at $93 and 2.5 kilograms, roughly, we're going, um, but yes. Here we go, again, True Zero Station, Costa Mesa. This is a 2022 Toyota Mirai XLE, and then there's a Gen 1, but uh, right here. You see some frost is starting to build up near the, the tubing. It gets extremely cold. You could feel it kind of vibrating. So this is a different kind of mesh I've noticed as well. Usually you're not able to see through it as much. Like I can clearly see the blue pipe underneath versus the old one. The sheathing or the cover is this solid blue kind of uh, harder plastic material too. A couple differences there, um, but yeah, I'll let you know how the unlocking process is because, as far as I could tell, I don't see a button or some sort of indicator that it's locked or unlocked. But we should be getting there almost full, we're at $120. Um, about 3.3 kilograms or so. Let me know if you're still considering a hydrogen vehicle. I know Toyota or Hyundai just released their new Nexo. Um, the Mirai, they're still the same models. And uh, yeah, I know you can get a pretty sick deal on some used ones or pre certified pre-owned. But here we go. Today is all about the handle. Uh, it's U.S. patent number uh, 9528650. CN patent Z12014100909090. Another U.S. patent uh, 9.939.0900. CN patent, another one, uh, Z1120140. And it says, and other countries. So, handful of patents going on. I don't know which where this company is based out of, but um, I'll find out and let you all know. Some other things I've noticed um, right here, it's mentioned France. Um, other countries, I see some numbers. So I assume it's a patent thing for that portion. Uh, obviously, the, there's an H2 symbol there for hydrogen. Another company logo right there. A QR code there. And then lock unlock symbol there, which 
I guess will show us when to unlock. But it should be done soon. So I'm gonna keep the camera next to the nozzle and uh, let's see what it does. Okay, just ended and I didn't see anything visibly change with the nozzle. All right, so this is my first time attempting to take this off. There we go. I'm pulling. Okay, I'm applying a little more force. Nope, okay. It's not working. Maybe it's frozen on. This is my dominant hand. I'm pulling straight out. It's not working. Uh, here maybe? Nope, um, I don't want to pull too hard. Okay, so far, not looking good. Um, again, we are done. It says remove. Let's try this again, I'm gonna pull. Okay. I mean, I will say the, the angle at which you could pull is nice, but I already could tell people yanked at it from the, the plastic lifting up here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Finally got it out. Um, yeah, I guess it's easier. I don't know. It's easier in the sense that you can... Uh, this is not going to work. The, the cables are already a little frozen and uh, it doesn't want to... It's a weird position. Anyway, um, is it better? I don't know. Um, can't say it's rapidly better but uh there you go um custom Mesa station new handle my first experience um i don't know uh it's not obviously better easier to pull but that not is not necessarily a good thing um no indicators that it's clearly unlocked or locked that i could see and um I had to pull on it pretty hard. I would imagine if you're doing that multiple times throughout the day and mo weeks, months, years, it's gonna wear on that plastic pretty hard. So, um, and probably the nozzles. Let me know what you think. If you experience one of these, try it out yourself. Again, I'm at the Costa Mesa True Zero Station. Thank you.